I talk to a lot of ed tech providers and a lot of questions come up over and over again. Um, some of the common ones involve COPPA, how is an ed tech provider supposed to um, deal with the parental consent obligations. Um, a lot comes up though because ed tech providers are in this position of receiving a lot of different contracts from states, from school districts, from individual schools, and they're being put in a position of having to sign a different contract or data protection addendum for every single school customer that they work with. That's very, very challenging for the provider to understand the myriad of obligations these contracts will put on them. It's challenging for them to be able to manage these contracts. Um, we get a lot of questions about how they can best position themselves to be able and to be prepared for the myriad of different requests that are coming in from the school districts and from the different types of contracting obligations that they're going to see in each state or in each district. Um, the best thing a company can do to position itself well is to anticipate having to comply with all possible obligations out there and being ready um, when they come in the door to be able to say, yes, I can absolutely do that. I have no problem signing your addendum. So we get a lot of questions about how these addendums, these district specific or school specific addendums, how they will impact their business, um, whether or not they can comply across the board and how they can best communicate that to the school districts.